Elon says that uh, X follows the, the rule of the land uh, where he operates here in Brazil or in Brazil where uh, that X was facing this challenge. He was saying that the country wasn't following the rule of the law. That's why he was taking this stand. But yeah, getting it to this idea, it's hard to stand up against a country where you're trying to operate in. Uh, it was either an option of losing money or going out basically not being in business there or are getting back into business. And most companies, it would seem, never been better. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Jonas is talking about China as a driver for where, you know, inventory dynamics, uh, a price kind of headline mix uh, that, that's not favorable to the legacy oil, the, excuse me, the OEMs, the legacy autos, is something that you have to worry about in terms of both their margin and where this, you know, this industry is going. He also references that the affordability factor uh, is, is, I think stretched was the, the word that was used. In other words, the U.S. consumer, despite the fact that they probably need to buy a new car, is not in a position to buy a new car. So Yeah, so I want to go back to Tesla here in China. Be the case, they've had a few really bad quarters in a row over the last few years. They actually had a couple really bad years there. When I think about what's going on there, it's BYD. I mean, this is a name that is actually trouncing them. They have 37% market share in China. Tesla has about 7.5 or so. The average price of a BYD car in China, I think it's about 50 $16,000 they have. Tesla's Robotax is to run 24-7. Thanks to wireless charging pads with its patents, Tesla promises several state-of-the-art features. For one, temperature sensors would be part of the charging mat to increase safety and prevent overheating. Day, this is yeah, coming, uh, 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 yeah, so uh, October 10th, RoboTaxi. Elon Musk has said there's going to be some other things there. A lot of folks are hoping that they're going to get back to this $25,000 mass market car. You know, the, uh, I guess it was like a couple months ago when they basically said, or there's rumors that they were going to focus on RoboTaxi, not on the mass market. Um, the company denied the mass market thing, but that was the really enthusiasm over over the last couple of months. And I just think with the expectations heading into that, if the stock continues to run in that. Tesla has learned a lot from discussions with engineers at Xi that have helped accelerate achieving unsupervised FSD, but there is no need to license anything from Xi Musk posted late on Saturday on his social media platform X, adding that the report is not accurate. You know, listen, Elon has made lots of big promises when, you know, things are going to be delivered, full self-driving and the like here. I think whatever he says about when the robo-taxi fleet mm -hmm. is going to be out there, it's going to be maybe a year or two beyond that. And the last thing, and we talked about it when I was in San Francisco two weeks ago, for two or three days, I took these Waymos. I mean, this is crazy. They are on the road. They are, in, you know, they're doing this thing. So you have to think that Waymo's very far ahead, especially when, you know, Tesla has been unable to get to that full self-driving. They still have to call it supervised self-driving. Yeah. Um, the Tesla point, though, supposedly they're going to have prototypes. Supposedly they're going to offer rides to the people who go to this event. One of these recent sightings was shared at the R Tesla Motors subreddit by Ushoddy underscore expert 8108, who noted that he is seeing more of the Tesla engineering vehicles as of late. The R Tesla Motors subreddit member shared some photos of the test vehicles that he spotted, one of which was fitted with an instrument rig on its comes just hours after lawmakers in the House passed that measure, which funds the government at current levels through December 20th. Mark your calendar. And Tesla sending out invitations for its robo-taxi event. That's going to take place on October 10th with the tagline, We Robot. The event was originally scheduled for August, but was pushed back. Not much is known about the robo-taxi other than all of the speculation uh, that uh, won't have a steering wheel or pedals. It'll be like a Cybertruck in terms of design. So, so we we'll robot see. instead of I robot? Maybe. Okay. Roof. Similar to previous sightings of the training vehicles, the cars that Tesla is using for its apparent tests are re-engineered Model 3 units. Due to lower proposed tariffs on Tesla, other EVs from China, Bloomberg News reports the European Union will lower proposed tariffs on Tesla and other electric vehicles EVs from China, Bloomberg News reported on Tuesday, citing people familiar with the matter. Elon Musk says Tesla has no need to license Xi models. The Wall Street Journal wrote that under a proposed agreement described to investors, Tesla would use Xi models in its driver assistance software known as Full Self Driving or FSD. Musk founded Xi as a competitor to OpenAI, which he co founded but eventually left. Tesla sells 63,456 cars in China in AUG, highest year to date Tesla sold 63,456 vehicles in China in August, the highest of the year, up 37.27% from July, though down 1.91% year on year. Tesla China sold 86,697 vehicles in August, including 23,241 for export, data released today by the China Passenger Car Association CPCA show. 
Google's next trial, Tesla's AI future, and X's ad dollar bleed tech news roundup almost two years after CEO Elon Musk acknowledged that Tesla's TSLA smart summon function wasn't performing as well as hoped, the automaker has unveiled a new and seemingly upgraded version. Elon Musk denied a report that his artificial intelligence startup Psy has held talks for a share in future Tesla revenue in return for giving Musk's electric vehicle maker access to Xi's technology and resources. The Wall Street Journal reported on Saturday that Tesla would license Xi's artificial intelligence models to help power its driver assistance software, full self-driving technology and share some of that revenue with the startup, according to the proposed arrangement as described to investors. Also, for parameter estimation, the algorithm uses real-time data to adjust the charging parameters to suit different vehicle models, battery states, and environmental conditions. The design and manufacturing of the charging circuits are done in a way that reduces the size and cost of the charging pad. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's son, Pax, crashed his Tesla before bike accident, leading to ICU stay report Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's son. Pax reportedly had another accident before his e-bike crash. It was a car accident which occurred two months before the bike crash and involved Pax. The 20-year-old crashed his Tesla into a truck parked outside the Red Studios Hollywood on May 19, 2024. As reported by TMZ on Saturday, the startup outlined a vision where its models would be trained on data from Musk's various companies Tesla, SpaceX, the boring company Neuralink and X, and its models could then improve technology across those companies. Tesla has learned a lot from discussions with engineers at Zay that have helped accelerate achieving unsupervised FSD, but there is no need to license anything from Zay, he wrote. The XI models are gigantic, containing, in compressed form, most of human knowledge, and couldn't possibly run on the Tesla vehicle inference computer, nor would we want them to. That's down 1.91% from 64,694 vehicles in the same month last year, but up 37.27.27.27% from 46,227. In the January-August period, Tesla sold 388,000 vehicles in China, a decrease of 0.57% from the same period last year. Tesla has a factory in Shanghai that produces the Model 3 sedan and Model Y crossover, both for deliveries to local customers and as an export hub for it. Tesla's pattern is to produce cars for export in the first half of the quarter and for the local market in the second half, it previously said. This accident, followed by the e-bike crash, landed him in ICU. The security footage of the car crash showed the collision of the black car with the truck sometime around late at night. Pax escaped any injuries from the accident and the police with just a warning. No police report was made of the accident, and he did not hit anyone apart from the truck itself, as reported by TMZ. The officers ensured that Pax was not driving under the influence at the time of the accident. Hyundai's Casper, Tesla boosts Korea's online car sales. South Korea's online car sales are expected to exceed $5 trillion, won $3.7 billion, and hit a record high this year, driven by rising internet sales of the Casper, Hyundai Motor Company's smallest crossover sport utility vehicle and Tesla Inc. Dot's model series, industry sources said. The value of online automobile transactions soared 42.1% to 3.1 trillion won in the first seven months of 2024 from a year earlier, government data showed on Sunday. That was the largest increase in internet product sales, as online food sales rose 15.4% and travel services were up 14.5% during the period, the statistics Korea said. Eaton's Ablige smart breakers are set to work with Tesla's Powerwall to provide homeowners with advanced load management capabilities, optimizing energy use and extending backup power during grid outages. Tesla's Director of Global Sales for Residential Energy Products, James Bickford, emphasized that the collaboration will deliver added value to customers using Powerwall and solar, supporting Tesla's mission to expedite the transition to sustainable energy. The joint solution will incorporate security protocols throughout the product development phases, underscoring Eaton's and Tesla's commitment to creating trusted environments. Eaton's secure by design philosophy ensures its products meet stringent cybersecurity and safety design standards. China EV registrations in W36, Xiaomi 3200, Neo 4500, Tesla 16200, Bide 73600 in the first week of September, week 36 of the year, the EV market was mostly down, with several exceptions. Xiaomi's insurance registrations were up 10%, and Tesla was up 13%, and Tesla was up 13%, compared with the week before. NIO was down 25%, while Bide was down about 20%. The weekly sales are published by Li Auto, and despite Li's not explicitly saying it, they are based on insurance registration data. Let's read more below. 
First, the plan is to make the official announcement next year, in January. This will involve Elon Musk visiting India and attending the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. We have understood that after years of discussions and meeting with Nitin Gadkari, Minister for Road Transport Highways, and recent visits of Piyush Goyal, Minister of Commerce and Industry, Tesla is now moving to sign an agreement in January 2024. The country's car sales on the internet have been growing since Hyundai introduced the Casper in 2021. The increases prompted other automakers such as BMW to join the move, while used car online platforms such as K-Car remain focused on internet sales. Tesla, the world's no. Two electric vehicle maker also contributed to the rapid growth in South Korea's online car sales. Its sales surged by more than six times to 16,461 units last year from only 2430 units in 2019. The EU to trim proposed tariffs on Tesla, other EVs from China, the European Union will lower proposed final tariffs on tariffs on Tesla TSLA.0 opens new tab and slightly trim rates for other electric vehicles from China after taking into account submissions by the companies. A source familiar with the matter said on Tuesday, Tesla's proposed tariff rate will drop to 7.8% from 9%, the source said. For Bide, there was no change to its 17% tariff. The numbers are rounded and present new energy vehicles NEV sales, the Chinese term for BEVs, FIVs and ERIVs range extenders. To be completely precise, it also includes hydrogen vehicles FESEVs, but their sales are almost non-existent in China. Bide maintained its lead in the market with 73,600 registrations, although this represents a decline of 17.12% compared to the record-breaking 88,800 registrations the previous week. However, year over year, Bide's registrations have increased by 60.35% from 45,900 units. Tesla reported 16,200 registrations, marking a 12.50% rise from the 14,400 registrations the week before and a substantial year-over-year -year growth of 51.40% from 10,700 units. Elon Musk coming to India for Tesla launch? Yes, after years of hearing rumours, talks and the issues of both parties the Indian government and Tesla owner Elon Musk we might have some good news. According to sources the prospect of a made in India Tesla is much more real. We soon could see an agreement between the Indian government and Tesla. The Indian government has been directly dealing with Tesla to set up a manufacturing plant in India. How and when will this all work out? For Geely, the new rate would be 18.8% from a previous 19.3%. A peak rate of 35.3% would apply to SAIC and other companies not cooperating with EU investigation, the source said. The European Commission, which is conducting the anti-subsidy investigation into EVs made in China, declined to comment. Tesla did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for comment. Last month, the EU set out its initial proposal for final duties.